What's going on everyone? So as you can see, I'm not home. I'm on the island of Kauai, enjoying a week over here. And as hard as I try to disconnect from the markets when I'm out on a trip like this, when there's a day like today, you just can't help but smile and just kind of enjoy the green, especially after the Friday that we all, most of us that invest in similar stocks like this had last week. Um, so today I wanted to talk about four different really hot sectors that I think are still, there's a lot of gains to be made. I wanna talk about AI, eVTOL, Quantum, and Drone, and we're gonna go through probably about 10, 12 different stock charts and just kind of briefly touch on each one. And as we can see, Palantir is up after hours. And, and this was kind of a, a little bit of a earnings going into this earnings with Palantir. It was just a little bit like, even if they deliver on their expectations, are they going to really crush? And as you can see, after hours, investors love what they're seeing. First billion dollar quarterly. So what did the market do today? Well, if we look at our quantum watch list, Rigetti had an 11.6% day. And Rigetti's earnings aren't even until next week, which is the crazy part. D-Wave had a 4.8% day. I'll give my thoughts on that later when we talk about D-Wave. Ion Q had a 4.5% day, still under $40, which is surprising to me. And pretty much green down the watch list. Seal's Q, Seal SQ is kind of down here at this $3 point and it's struggling a little bit. We might need some more time for that thesis to play out. And looking at the heat map, Nvidia had a 3.6% day, Google 3%, Meta 3.5%, really widespread optimism and kind of a V-shaped recovery from Friday. Palantir reported its first billion dollar quarterly, which was pretty crazy. The growth rate of our business has accelerated radically, Alex Karp says. And then while we're over here, we also have the S&P up one and a half percent, the Dow up 1.3 and NASDAQ up 1.95. So just with Palantir and I, I've been selling some Palantir actually going into earnings. I still hold a lot of Palantir, but I wanted to de-risk it a little bit just because the uh, valuation is really up there. But look at this return, even since, let's just go back to August of last year. 506% return. That is unbelievable. And that is not even including what it's doing in the post market today. This stock is just special it really is and someday there, there will probably be a correction w in this stock but with the way ai stocks and these companies are running right now i don't know if that's coming anytime soon so speaking of ai companies i want to show the chart for big bear so big bear ai actually had a pretty nice day today and they were, <clears throat> I'm looking at the well, last month of price action with Big Bear. And we can kind of see that it's still fairly far off of its rising support. And it's been a little bit range bound between 631 and this 876. So it's been rejected off of that high eight number a couple times. And we're seeing that this, even on Friday, Big Bear actually ended up green and most stocks were down. So typically in a market like that, then when you see a stock is green, when everything else is weak, then that indicates a lot of individual ticker strength. And we saw that play out with Joby today. We're, we're gonna look at Joby um, when we do Evitols. But really a nice, move off of 631 and we have at least six confirmations now one two three four five six seven confirmations that the 631 is a sort of range that big bear wants to trade in and i'm 
uh, as a longer term big bear investor, I'm delighted to see that because this stock was trading at $2.82 in April or less actually, $2.45. So there's been a nice move for big bear. And with Palantir having a nice earnings, we can see that it's even up a little bit in aftermarket. So maybe that, that run can continue. So good news uh, for Veritone AI is that they had a 15% day, which is phenomenal. And one thing, actually, let's see, is, do I have my numbers right? Yeah, 15.8% day. And I'm just really excited because I'm talking to their, their team and we're gonna set up a time and probably next week when I get back, um, I'm gonna get a chance to do an interview with the CEO and see what's going on here. Now, you guys know that I have some uh, reservations about Veritone, so um, if you go back, you can see that the stock at one point was a $47 stock, then it was a $36 stock, then a $20 stock, and it's just kind of been in this downward wedge. So I wonder where this optimism is coming from. Is it because of, of their, their AI? I mean, is it because of an actual fundamental change in their financials or how they're operating their business? The last time I looked, this is a company that had 600 plus employees, so considerable amount of considerably good sized company. Um, and we can see in post market, they're up a little bit. So pretty nice move lately for Veritone AI. All right, let's take a look at Evitols. So Evitols has been a red, red hot sector. And the way to think about Evitols is kind of like, you see those, the drones that are flying around, that are annoying you. Now they're making them bigger and they're gonna put people in them. So, um, and, and they actually figure out a way to make them more quiet than like something like a helicopter. So that's pretty nice. But as you can see, if we look at the last five days of trading, we kind of got a hint that something was happening here with Joby because we had a lot of bullish price action. I'm, I'm showing you guys Friday when every stock in the market seemed to be taking a beating. Amazon, Amazon was down 8% and Joby was trying to push up and make higher highs. So then when the market turned more optimistic today, this stock exploded, it absolutely exploded and closed above a $20 position. What a massive, massive move for Joby. And I wanna show you guys how incredible the rise of Joby has been because we've, since I've been ta talking to you guys about Joby, I told, I've been telling you guys about these levels. I said, we're, we're going past 1165 when we were over here. If you go look back on my video and look in the thumbnails, you can see that I've been covering Joby for a long time. Um, I've been in Joby since it was a $7 stock and, and now we're talking $20 plus. So that's, that's the beauty of the stock market is if you pick winners, you can make a lot of money. The volume is there for Joby and we have earnings coming up and they made a system sale. So their earnings should look good. So now it's how high can Joby go? They're in a very fun spot for a stock called price discovery. Price discovery meaning there's no previous high that they have to get through that will act as resistance and Joby's kind of charting its own path. So really cool to see. Now Archer, uh, Joby's, uh, brother or sister or whatever you want to call in the market has had this kind of explode up, move down, explode up, move down, um, more of a volatile nature to the name, but I don't think the companies are too dissimilar. I don't, I don't think in the grand scheme of things, I think they're both going to be doing really well in this sector. So basically we have Archer earnings coming up and right now Archer is half the price of Joby. So we saw some enthusiasm come into the ticker today for Archer, probably somewhat of a sympathy move from the low of day to the high of day, we saw an 8.4% move and 8.2% move for Archer um, on total for the day. Now, if we look back all time for Archer, speaking of resistance, 
we still have to get through 1884 and we've double topped recently around these 13s so if i take away my drawings so it's a little bit easier to see 1368 or so has been a spot for archer to reject lately now does that mean that it's going to continue rejecting if the sector continues its momentum and positive news absolutely not i think that it's possible that archer could have some really positive price momentum especially if we have a market like this all right now we're moving into quantum that's why we're all here right um so quantum i think is in a special time period of 2025 because we're coming into quantum earnings and any one of these companies could come and give us what's called a beat and raise i if they are able to beat the expectations or guidance they've set out and or raise the expectations then this would be bullish for the whole sector and hopefully the whole sector would move so what we have here um, with Rigetti today was some incredible movement and <clears throat> what happened is Rigetti closed the day at 11 percent and what I like to see is this validation that we've been seeing from Rigetti that this $15 is a spot where buyers step in and I was tempted to even buy more Rigetti today at 15 uh, beautiful lower uh, higher highs in and uh, higher lows as we can see a very bullish structure on the candles for Rigetti and the crazy thing about Rigetti is it's not even their earnings week it's ion q and d wave that are having earnings but i think what's what's happening here is the market gave Rigetti a price of about 16 17 18 dollars in fact this 17 dollar ish price point held for a few days and this was after their announcement so the market knows that Rigetti is releasing an earnings and chiplet and i think a lot of people are trying to front run that and get ahead of it um and i was even buying Rigetti over here you guys know that i'm bullish on Rigetti for the rest of the year in fact i have a pretty sizable call option position that expires in uh january 26 14 contracts at the 15 dollars strike so you know that i love to see Rigetti above 15. um d wave qbts so what's what's going on with good old d wave if if i had to give my best guess of what's going on with d wave i think that this quarter um they're going to come in and it's not going to be as good quarter over quarter now i hope i'm wrong but we can see kind of in these blue lines here that are on the screen that we've been in a downtrend. We touched 20 a couple of times. We've made new all time highs. There's been a lot of enthusiasm. And recently we've had a trend break. It's, it's not really a trend break that I trust at this point. It's actually a bounce off of 1679, which I believe is a number that has come into play multiple times in the past and it was a spot where the stock previously gapped up so i have been as i've been covering d wave i'm not saying this is going to happen but my prediction is that there the numbers aren't going to be as good and we're going to get some impatient investors i hope i'm wrong about this but i could see us fill this gap down to 1356 or possibly even break down and come down to this rising support or below. So just be aware that investors may become impatient. It may be a good buying opportunity, it's something that I'm personally putting some cash aside to buy that dip and add more shares of D-Wave. IonQ. So IonQ, here's the deal with IonQ. I think the market's getting IonQ wrong. I'm actually most excited about IonQ going into earnings. For the past, probably since April, we've held this higher low trend until just recently where we broke down and we actually broke down below 40 on Friday. And now we're kind of in this mode where there's been some bullish sentiment that's returned. The bulls won today, but still it closed 
at 39 and now in post it's above 40. Well, I think this stock actually is more fairly valued with their recent acquisitions well above their all-time high of $55 a share. So, so one thing to keep on your radar with INQ is they had this massive, massive bull flag here. Or, or I'm just going to say this is the flagpole and it's been protracted for a while. But we know that INQ can move 30% 40% in a single day. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they came with an incredible quarter to see IonQ explode. All right, UAVs is a new position of mine, and I'm going to just full disclosure here, show you guys uh, the all-time chart that this is the speculative, super, super risky. I'm not going to go into the company profile because I don't want this video to be long and I'm going to go probably get in the ocean or something. But but basically, I'm just looking for drone stocks that might be in a turnaround. I found an entry point at a level that I really liked. So I made us a, a reasonable position at about $1.82 because I saw there was a gap fill um, here. And but recently, if we go back to December of 2024, this was a $10 stock. If we go back to um, August of 24, this was a $25 stock. So a lot of people have been burned really hard on UAVs. And I would say just tread carefully. But the drone industry today saw some nice gains as the single day gain for UAVs today was 25%, so not a trivial move for this ticker. Um, lots of bullish sentiment. And then Ondis, so our very own Gene Inger is the one who put Ondis on the radar. And I, I have been adding to Ondis. Um, they had a good piece of news today. We don't, we don't have time to jump into that, but I just wanna show you all that Ondis is at a pretty critical level. It actually closed near its 52 week actually let me double check that so it's 52 week high is actually up here at 340 but it's not too far away from 340 and if this bullish sentiment this bullish trend can continue we could see Ondis continue to the upside what is it what does it look like in the last five years stock was trading much higher five years ago so maybe these drone stocks maybe it's their time to shine all right guys so that is everything i have for you i hope you really enjoyed it one thing that i've been really enjoying even on the plane on the way over here to the island is i spent hours and hours just working on our discord and just trying to make it better and better i want to show you guys so we actually have now uh different channels and discussions for each of these stocks I think this might be one of the coolest things about this is we can talk specifically about tickers or industries. We have AIs, drone and UAVs. Um, anytime I drop a video, I've set up a web hook. So now member only videos and any public video that I post goes right to Discord. So I'm really excited about the improvements there. Also really enjoying the conversation. Uh, definitely if you want to, uh, Join, join as a channel member, support the channel, and uh, let, let's get you set up. And anyway, um, congratulations to all of you out there. I hope you had a wonderful day in the market, and I hope we see more green this week. Aloha.